Plays what happens. A back nine vlog. Full nine holes of golf. Myself and Michael Ascari, a pro golfer from this area. You guys met on the channel a while ago. Well, Michael has turned pro, and I've been playing with him a lot again recently. And uh, I'll talk a little bit about his burgeoning pro career and uh, about this match. So I did a couple of kind of step and swings there, a la Padraig Harrington, to kind of warm myself up. And hit a good drive down the right-hand side. It drew back a little bit. And then got down the hill pretty far. Michael, this is Michael. That's Michael fun, cracked his driver. He cracked in a weird place in the back. No uh, his no uh, tailor made M3, so he's getting it replaced. So today he's, he's borrowing my driver. Yeah, Michael's played, I think, six pro events so far on the Bow Tour. And uh, I think four, and uh, so like two on the Bow Tour, four on the Golden State Tour. And he's cashed in four of them. So he's had a, a decent start, and he's playing in a big two-day event there. So uh, on the boat tour tomorrow. So this was a bit of a warm-up for that. It's pretty cold. It's actually very cold this morning. Made a great pass at it, nice and balanced. I like the I like the transition there, and hit it just a little long of what I needed to. Go up to Michael's shot. I had 155 yards in, so Michael has, I think, like 147 or something like that. Really like the way Michael looks, like from impact to the finish. It looks like really well controlled. So I'd hit mine, landed it a little past the pin, and jumped out to this spot. So I'll have this somewhat difficult downhill lag putt for my birdie attempt, but really I'm thinking two putts per par and I'd be very happy. Slow down a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna have that remaining for my par four. And uh, be, I'd be happy with par on the first hole. Here's Michael for his birdie. Good stroke. You can see he looks up well after the ball's gone, something that that's one thing I have to do a little bit better. Here's my attempt for par here. So getting set up, you'll see uh, really concentrated on in my putting on uh, from like the belt down, making my lower body. So watch my knees really stable. So that's really the number one thing I'm trying to. Something that Tim Yelverson said to me, and something that I know uh, Monty Scheinblum, an instructor, I've done a bunch of videos with. He's real big about that, about how much knee movement there is. And whenever somebody's struggling, especially on those like six foot and in putts, you're moving the lower body too much most of the time. All right, so I hit a okay drive a little bit too far left. It just didn't cut over like I wanted it to. And here's Michael with my driver. It is and it isn't, right? He one hands it a little bit, but he did get it to shape the correct way, and he's going to be in a fine spot. So I am. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know. I was thinking about it a different time. Yeah, I hit it. Uh, I hit it down the middle, just a little left of where Michael hit it. So this is a nine iron from uh, also about the same yardage, a little over 150 yards. It's slightly downhill and hit a very good shot. So I'll have a birdie chance there. And here's Michael. I'm not sure what club he has. A little bit dif different tempo than me. Yeah, it was weird, it's like, oh. Michael hits a good shot. I think he's that T up there. So again, I landed about pin high and then jumped out. A little past pin high and then jumped out to this point. So it's hard to tell here, but from where I am to the hole is extremely downhill. and. In the summer, with the, the grass cut and everything, this would be like a almost impossible putt to stop. But uh, today, because of the dew and because of the weather and everything else, it's a little bit more doable. Here's Michael putting uphill for his birdie. So that secures a good par for both of us. So starting out with uh, all pars for Michael and I here. 
Going to the par three, this is a short par three, only 136 yards. Michael has a, a kind of a sawed off pitching wedge here. Nope, it's actually 128. 128 yards, just looking at my book here. For what happened in the day, I'm wearing a, uh, this, uh, the guy from Rockin' L&M, which is a really cool head cover company, made this Be Better Golf beanie for me, which I really like. When I hit this shot, it just looked totally perfect. I'm trying to get an angle on it to see it, but it did come up just a little bit short, but I really liked the way it looked. That's David. Uh, my good friend who, who we're also playing with, who's sitting really close. And then this is me for birdie, left hand low. Stroking it pretty good. A little bit too hard. But also, just I mean, the line was not right. So that's par for me. Beautiful lighting here. Great part about living in California. I mean, really the number one thing about living in California is the weather. Because it is uh, the middle of December. We're golfing. Yeah, That's a good birdie for Michael. Good bird. To go one under par. Good job, Michael. Going to the short par four. This is 310 yards. Short par four here, and Michael is the three wood. Hit it solid. Really good. Club twirl, I think. All right, so this is driver for me. And usually in the summer, see, it's about 52 degrees, 55 degrees, something like that at this point. Now that the sun's up, it was 49 when we teed off. So I hit that really good. I mean, I, and it didn't get anywhere close to the green. So that's my ball up there. And usually in the summertime, if I hit it as good as I hit it then, I'd be just rolled onto the green um, from where the tee box was. So. Michael looking to, this is the part of the game he's told me that he would love to improve more than anything else is his um, pitching and kind of tweener wedge shots. So basically the shots from like 50 yards to 20 yards. He'd really like to, to be a little bit better at those shots. And who wouldn't really? Uh, hit that pretty good, impact wasn't awesome, but hit it all right. I'll have a, a reasonable chance for a birdie. Here's Michael for a second birdie in a row. That crazy noise there, parrots, but Michael doesn't get a bird there. He'll set her, he'll set her for par there, and I am lining up my birdie putt here. This green is, for me anyway, one of the hardest greens to read putts on. At least I find myself always scratching my head after I hit putts on this hole. See, I just get confused. There's a couple local things that it's supposed to break this foot. There's bamboo and then there's also the baseball field that people say things break towards. So, I don't know. I should have just hit it straight, I guess. But uh, three pars in a row to start for me. Actually, four pars in a row to start for me. Going to the par five, it's like 530 five yards dog leg left not a totally awesome drive there but it won't hurt me it's down the middle just wasn't if I had hit it on that same line super solid it'd be in the bunker so at least I didn't hit it good enough to get into the bunker oh beautiful shot awesome nice shot ball. by Michael there a little draw and then actually got some jump some good distance out of this he's using my Strixon driver what is it Strixon uh, Z785 driver I think it's a uh, fairly new that I got, so I like it. So there's Michael's drive up there, and here's mine. So this is a three wood from quite a ways out. Not really in a position to totally get all the way there. You can see how long the, the fairway grass is. This is soon after we've had a, actually like a unusually large amount of rain around here, so Getting some good growth and everything at the course, at least. The greens here are just in great shape, though. Especially consider, considering like all the other courses around here right now. Uh, this place is accepted the rain really nicely. I did not hit that great of a three wood. Kind of scampered to this position here. 
And I've got 68 yards in to this hole. See, I've just, I hate, I've been, my kind of tweener wedge shots have almost always been pools recently. Annoying. Ooh, bad lie there? Yeah, Michael was uh, down in a bad lie and didn't get the result that he wanted. Here's his run at a birdie. So it'll be par for Michael, whose family owns Lascari's Fine Italian Restaurant in Whittier. Go by and see him. Tell him you saw him on the channel. He told me the funniest story. I'm going to have to get him to tell you guys about when he delivered a pizza to a guy who was uh, had a really funny reaction that I'm going to get. I, it's only good if he tells it though. All right, so that's a par for me. Usually, avoiding bogeys is not my strong suit. All my best rounds of golf have been like a ton of birdies. Like my best round of golf ever was uh, five birdies and an eagle in a round. And, but I also had like way too many bogeys. So making all these pars in a row, actually, like I, I've never played 18 holes without making a bogey, and that's something I would love to do. That was a nice move on the ball. I really liked how I finished that one, and uh, hit it down there in the left side of the fairway. Here's Michael. Yeah, Michael said that he would like to improve his distance by about 15 yards, and I, mi I missed his shot because the camera ran out. He'd like to improve his distance by about 15 yards, and uh, he feels like the other players, the other pros that he plays with are a little sharper putting than he is. So those are the two things he'd like to, to button up as he tries to make a run at it. Hit an okay shot. Again, another little bit of a small pull. It wasn't this. It actually landed on the green and then curved over here. So I have this putting from the fringe. Usually I have a good track record putting from the fringe, right? For birdie. Oh, it looked good. Lipped out on the right-hand side. I'll have that for my par. And actually, that is not that close of a putt. The camera may, look, may, may make that look closer than it is. It's, it's over three and a half feet. You have a kind of an aggressive run. So on the right-hand side of your screen, this video is in 4K. You can see Michael's what's in the bag there. If you can kind of tell, it's, it's almost all, I think it's almost all tailor-made stuff. All right, so Michael made a two-putt par there. Okay, good putt. And like I said, this putt that I have in front of me here, so let's go through the whole routine. So I'm kind of lining it up with the with the shaft. Kind of feeling my stroke. And I'm, I, this is something I, I have to actually practice my routine. In the Be Better Golf putting system that Tim put together, uh, there's a certain way that you kind of develop a routine, and it's something I have to work on a lot more. I was really happy to make that one, though, even though it wasn't dead center of the hole. It was in, and in is good enough. All right, so here is an uphill par three. This is also short. It's like 142 yards. It's a, a nine iron. Actually, it's a red flag. I think it's like 138. Nine iron up the hill. Hit it solid, and it was looking good. You can see my T there. And then the divot after the tee, so that was, that was, and it wasn't a big, thick divot either. So that's what I'm looking for: a forward divot that's fairly shallow. But it came up a little bit short. I think uh, this club there a little bit. And here is Michael. Not a great shot for Michael. Didn't like that one. All right, so he, uh, Michael, I think uh, chipped to that point. Actually, he's chipping right now. He's in the bunker. So he'll splash out of the bunker as I'm waiting. And this lie that I have is extremely tough. It's like the, gr the grass is, is in this kind of camouflage pattern of bare spots and whatnot. So Michael was in a very bad lie in the bunker and only got it to the fringe. 
So here I'm just trying not to have too much of a, a hit in that. And hit a really good chip, actually. I mean, perfect distance. It just came out a little bit more left. I think the, the rough closed the face down just a little bit. So an expert short game player probably would, would have anticipated that part a little bit better. But the distance control was very good. And this is a basically level putt that is left to right quite a bit. And I really want to make this. So let's, like I said, let, watch the, the knees. Real steady on the knees, not as steady on the head. So that move, that I, that looked up just a little, a little bit sooner than probably would be perfectly ideal. But it went right in the hole. That was great, and this is all pars so far. So that actually, actually was, since I had about six pars on in a row, actually making no bogeys on this uh, for this nine holes became a a real goal. I mean, that that'd be something cool to do. So this is a par five, five fifteen yards. It was okay. It just a little bit on the left hand side of the fairway. You could see, you could tell a little bit out of sequence there, and then I was holding on for dear life to keep it from going left. So once you if you're I mean, basically, yeah, to be any good at golf, to, to be at, at least um, up to whatever potential you could be at golf, you gotta be you gotta be playing 18 holes a week, which sounds ridiculous. It sounds like way too much, but uh, golf is pretty unforgiving. So if you like, uh, Michael told me Perfect. told me his routine of how how much golf he's playing and Ten stuff. And a half and a twelve. And uh, it's no. really nice. He's playing a lot more than that, but I don't need that big. Cause she, she, then I was thinking. And I'm playing. And this was a great weekend. This, I was able to play thirteen holes the day before this, nine holes this day, and then nine holes the next day. And it was in a good a good mode too because of all those whatever thirty holes. I think I only made. Two or three bogeys, which is not normal for me. So I'm hoping it's a, it's kind of like a new trend of consistency. And there are a few things I'm, I'm I'll do a little routine on what I'm working on, but there are a few things I'm working on that I think are helping in the consistency department. Awesome trace on the on the club with the water coming off the back of the club. That was a good three wood. Just up in front of the green. Was it trying to lay up? And then when I got up to the green, uh, before I do that, here's uh, Michael with a hybrid, who hit a great shot onto the left hand side of the green. So there's Michael putting for eagle. I chipped and hit a very poor chip to that spot on the fringe, which will be in the archive. And it's definitely not my fault. And then I hit that really good chip from the fringe. So you see that thick rough there? I basically flubbed it from there. And uh, so this is for par. Instead of this should be for, well, I guess. Golf doesn't owe you anything, right? So it is what it is. This is for par. And I still have that in my mind more than anything else. I really didn't want to make any bogeys. And certainly not any sixes. And that was a great catch by the hole. Just barely got that in so that was good to make my par there and Michael two putted for birdie so I think Michael I think Michael's even he's either even or one under I'm not sure I'm even eight pars in a row so I'm really concentrated on at least making a par on this hole Good balance there, and I hit it. On this hole, it's really important to hit it up the left-hand side. That, because it's the, the fairway is so much higher on the left than the right, you get a much better look at the hole visually from the left-hand side. And I did that. It wasn't, it wasn't a monster shot. It wasn't, like, you know, killed, but it was fairly solid. It was up the left-hand side. So here's Michael with driver, my driver. Which he really liked. He really liked this driver. He said he hit it a little bit straighter than, or felt like he hit it a little straighter than his. 
um, but maybe not quite as long. This is up the right hand side. Actually, I think it just on cue as I was talking about how he said he hit it straighter. I think he hit it in the trees. But not that deep in the trees. So this is inside 150 yards, I believe. Or this is right again at 150 yards. Eight irons, slightly uphill. The pin's over on the right hand side. And hit it solid. You can you could see I, I let the, the club head get behind myself a little bit there. And I blocked it up the right. Luckily it got over the bunkers and it'll be on the fringe. So this is me putting for birdie from the fringe. And mostly in my head is I really want to hit a good enough shot to secure par. You can see how fast I'm walking here. Actually, I think I'm running out of card space on the camera. So I tap that in. All right, so that was cool. Nine holes, and which is all the holes I was going to play this day, without a bogey. So nine pars in a row. So that was a, a minor accomplishment that I liked. Thanks for watching, everybody. Click the subscribe button. Let me know what the weather's like in your area if you're able to be golfing. Got a lot of other stuff planned, so see you later. Bye.